In the last video, you saw how to create a project and register a bot with the Microsoft Bot Framework to be used as a messaging extension in Microsoft Teams. Now in this video, we're gonna continue with that last demo and we're gonna implement an action messaging command in our project. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to code the action command for the messaging extension. Our action command, when it's triggered, is gonna present the user with a modal dialogue where they can select a planet from our solar system and the modal dialogue is implemented using an adaptive card. So after submitting the dialogue, the action command is gonna use another adaptive card to add details about the selected planet uh, to our message. So what I wanna do is I wanna add a data set about all the different planets. So a production application is, is typically gonna retrieve data from an external source, like a REST API or a database. But for simplicity in this demo, I'm gonna use an in-memory data set. So I'm gonna go into my planet bot, create a new file called planets.json and then just paste in a big JSON array of all the different planets um, in our solar system. A lot of this data came from Wikipedia, so I um, just wanna make sure that I, I give that uh, disclaimer that the data is being um, reused from Wikipedia. Now, the next thing we wanna do is I wanna go create an adaptive card that's gonna be used uh, to display our data. So inside of our planet bot, I'm gonna create a new file called planet selector card.json and paste that in. This contains our adaptive card to display the modal dialog. Now, to simplify working with some collections, which is what we're doing and just what we're doing with our, our planets, um, I'm gonna use a library to simplify that work. So I'm gonna install two packages. I'm gonna do an npm install of lodash. And then I'm also gonna install the type declarations for it as well. So do an npm install um, types lodash that. So now let's go back to our bot. So our bot is planet bot. So I'm going to import Lodash uh, two functions or two utility functions from Lodash in the find and the sort by uh, as well. So now I can implement the action command uh, messaging extension by implementing a well-known method to the bot. So within our bot, uh, I'm going to update the import statement for our bot builder because we need to add a few more entries like a card factory, a messaging uh, extension action, a messaging extension action response, and a messaging extension Uh, attachment as well. Now let's add another method to our planet bot and now let me explain what this method is doing. This method method is first going to load the planets and sort them as you see here um, by the order by their order from the Sun. It's then going to load an adaptive card for the modal update and, and update the planet selector. It's going to do that uh, right here by changing the planet selector. Uh, it's going to do which is a drop-down box. Uh, it's going to so this drop-down box is now going to contain all of our sorted planets, um, and then finally, it's going to return an object of type messaging extension action response that defines the task module implemented using an adaptive card to the bot framework. And the bot framework is going to communicate with Microsoft Teams to display the card. So at this point, the first part of our action command is complete. That's going to prompt the user to select a planet with the messaging extension. That's all been set up. Now the second part of this messaging extension is to use the selected planet to reply to the message that triggered the extension with the planet's details, or if the extension was triggered from a compose box, it's gonna add the planet's details to the new message. So now let's do the second part of this. I'm gonna add a new file here to our planet bot called the planet display card.json. And this is gonna be the adaptive card used to display uh, our planets. Now, we don't need to dive through all of this, but basically all this is doing is creating a nice little form that can be able to set all these different values um, on our planet. Now, let's go back to our bot and let's add another handler to process the message when the messaging extension's adaptive card is submitted. So this method here, the handle teams messaging extension submit action, that is a well-known method uh, for the in the SDK. This first is going to retrieve the planet selected in the adaptive card 
from the in-memory planets data set. So you can see that happening right here. It then uses a little utility function, we'll see that in a minute, to load and update the adaptive car with the planet's details. And then finally, it's going to return a messaging extension action response object that sets the adaptive card on the compose extension property. Microsoft Teams is going to use this to display the details of the planet that was selected. So the last thing we need to do is to go implement our uh, utility method called get planet detail card. And all this is doing is just taking uh, a planet that's been passed in. It's going to go open up that display card or load that uh, JSON for the adaptive card that's going to display the card. And then because it's JSON, I'm just walking through all this code, finding a specific ID and setting all of those values uh, on the actual card. Now we're ready to test our bot. So I'm going to come back over to our command line and run gulp ingrok serve. Keeping in mind that I'm using a custom subdomain with the licensed version of ingrok, but if you use the free version of ingrok, this is going to change every time you, um, that subdomain is going to change every single time uh, that you run your, your, that you restart ingrok. And when that happens, you're going to lose the, um, the subdomain changes. And so you're going to have to go to the bot framework and change the endpoint of where that's going to show up. So now let's go, now that we see our app that's running, we're going to ignore all these ES lint errors as they don't really pertain to the demo. Um, and I'm going to go install the bot. So I'm going to go to my more apps and I'm going to upload a custom app for me or my teams. And we'll find our messaging extension. And we can see we have messages, insert con content directly into the message. So I'll then go ahead and install that. There we go. Now, after installing the app, Microsoft Teams takes us to the one-to-one -one chat with the, with the Microsoft Teams app showing us our first dialogue. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this dialog um, because I want to show you like the full experience with this. So in the compose message for our chat, I'm going to select either the planet messaging icon or the dot 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 icon you can see here below the chat box. And I'm going to go ahead and select planet messaging. And now you can see that's how my dialog is popping up. When the message, when the messaging extensions task module is displayed, I'm going to go select a planet. So let's choose Venus. And then I'm going to say insert the selected planet. The messaging extension will submit the action handler uh, back to the bot framework. And the bot framework is going to send that to our web service, which is going to get the response, go find Venus in our in-memory database, and update that adaptive card and send that back uh, to, the, uh, uh, to Microsoft Teams, which updates uh, the text that you see here. We could also do this exact same thing by updating an existing chat um, by going to this like uh, uh, dot, 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 choosing dot, 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 and then go over here and select our planet expander to get the exact same thing to pop it up and to choose a different planet. So you can see there's two ways to do it and it looks like the, Im the image for Mars has been uh, changed. So we can run it again actually. Let's try and find another image. So let's try, um, Let's try Jupiter. And there we go. Now Jupiter shows up. So that's pretty neat. And that's where that big adaptive card came from that we had. Uh, and we added it to our project. Uh, that is going to be, it's just showing a display information about the bot itself or about the planet that we selected. So in this um, demo, we created an action command messaging extension for a custom Microsoft Teams app.